Hello guys and welcome to the Twist Network. Today it's me Dan and I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove a background from an image. So I'm going to be showing you how to take say a person that's in a background or something or an animal and separate it from its background so it's just the uh, part of the image you actually want. So let's just go, ho go ahead and file new. Actually file open. Um, we'll go ahead and open up our document. Here it is. Okay. So here I have this eagle. First thing in my help here, I like the background layer. So I have this eagle, and um, I'm going to want to remove uh, the sky from him. Um, now there are three to three or four ways of doing this. Uh, the first way is going to the eraser tool, and then going to the magic eraser tool left clicking in the background and it's going to remove everything within that shade of background or that shade of colour. The problem with this is you have colours which are similar like really bright colours that it will remove um, that colour and this this won't be so effective. Um, also if you notice here it's left some blue here so now I can just go in uh, with a brush and just remove or with a razor and just remove it like so. Like this. So that's just that's just really simple. Okay, so that's the first way. Um, the eraser and then using the magic eraser tool. That's probably the most simplest way because it, it removes it really fast. Um, like I said though, if you have colours which are really similar, it will just erase it. So you can see you have white, and this was a really bright blue. It probably erased the white as well, which is never too handy. Uh, the next thing you can use is the background eraser tool. Again, just hold down the, uh, the eraser button and then it's here. Uh, this one will remove everything with the colour. So you click on uh, with a little plus, so here, 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 and it removes that colour. So if I go to this blue, I can actually go along the edge of the bird and remove all of the blue. Like so, you've got to be careful you don't move into the, um, the bird itself. But like this, as long as you keep your little plus away from the bird. Um, it will remove everything in that radius of that colour, which is pretty handy for going round. So here I could um, I could go round the bird uh, to the section which was sticking out from my magic eraser tool. And um, once I've been round here, I can use the magic eraser tool to uh, erase the rest of the background cleanly. I am doing this really fast, so it looks really bad, but um. Yes, yeah, so that, that's another way of going about it, by removing the background like so. Also another way, if you're slightly more nimble, is you could use the eraser tool with a, either a hard brush and erase the background. Sorry about that, Skype's going mental. Or you could use the soft brush and sort of fade the edges away like so. Again, that's not that's another way, I suppose. Um, so that's three ways already. Uh, the last way is to use the quick selection tool, and this can be really handy. It's just this thing up here, and you can set the tolerance, uh, or you can use the magic wand to actually. Um, both are both are good. Uh, so let's use the quick selection tool first. You just want to drag over the bird, keeping inside it, and it should just select the bird. Um, so like this, I want to widen the edge just because I don't want to. Uh, if you hold down Alt, you can remove, and if you just let go of Alt, you can plus. So I just want to dab this down a bit and bring it back up like so. I want to make sure I keep all the details in like that. So now if I press Control Shift I, I can just delete the background like that, and then I can again go in and background erase it all. To do finishing touches, um, and the final way we have is using the magic arrays of the magic wand tool. Now, this you can actually set the tolerance, and the higher the tolerance, the more the image is going to pick up at once. Um, I think you have to hold control. Uh, uh, I can't remember what you have to hold for yet. Shift. You have to hold shift to select more areas. Now, this can be a lot more accurate than doing the thing as you can see here. And then I just go up oh, that. Control shift I delete. And that's a much cleaner image. Um, so I hope that helps you guys on how to remove 
backgrounds from an image. My personal favourite is using the uh, magic eraser tool if if it works. Like so, um, I purposely try to look for images with contrasting colours. But anyway, guys, 